Yeah, they're going to need to clear the trail here as we go through the next 24 hours, and hopefully they raised enough money they can buy some warmth because we certainly have not been able to do it. Is that one of those systems that we've been dealing with this year where it depends on where you are, north to south, how much we're going to get? Uh, yeah, and that's really been kind of the freezing. The rain snow line okay. has been in play a lot, and uh, it looks like some areas will get in on a bit of a mix. But we have plenty of cold air in place for us right now. It's 24 in Indianapolis, 22 in Peru, and 21 degrees in Muncie. Let's take you through your evening planning forecast, and you see those temperatures will actually hold pretty steady as that snow develops with a light north wind. will still be around 23 degrees for us at 9 and 10 o'clock. Here's a look at TrueView radar and where we see some of that light snow and getting some fine light snowflake reports around Terre Haute into Sullivan. Also see that starting to extend into Greencastle and here within the next hour may see a little bit of light snow activity into Indianapolis, but you see it's going to be picking up as we go through the evening. Quite a bit more snow back into Illinois and Missouri and this is what we will call round one of that snow. Let's take you with Truecast here. This is 8 o'clock this evening and you can see how quickly that snow is going to be spreading to the east, but initially it will be light. That leading edge around Muncie to Richmond by 8 o'clock this evening. Then we're all dealing with some light to moderate snow at times as we head through midnight tonight. And then a little bit of that rain snow mix happening around Seymour and Bedford as your temperatures get just above freezing, but still snow in Bloomington through Indianapolis at 5 o'clock Sunday morning. A little more in the way of some of that snow shutting down on the northwest edge. By 9 o'clock in the morning, we're all getting a break from the activity, but it will fill back in. Between about 1 and 2 o'clock, more snow showers start to develop. You can see that rain snow mix around Columbus toward Nashville and Bloomington. Then as colder air pushes on the back side of the system, we all transition back to some light snow. Still dealing with snow in Indianapolis at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. By 8, 830, just a few snow showers left behind the system. So let's kind of break down the snowfall potential for you. And this is as we start things off at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So many spots will have around 4 inches of snow on the ground, especially as we look around that Sullivan Rushville line and areas to the the north. Then as we go into the afternoon and add on round number two, ultimately coming in with a pretty good swath of three to six inches of snow. Now you see this deeper blue north of Indianapolis and some spots could close in on that six to seven inch amount of snowfall. So we'll have to watch that. And then of course where we get a little more in the way of some rain, see more Bedford closer to two to maybe three inches of snow closer three to four for Bloomington. Then on Monday, we're between weather systems. It will be a colder start, but a dry day for us. 19 in the morning, 30 for the afternoon, and already another system we need to be aware of coming in for Tuesday morning. We see pink on the map. That's not good. That means a mix of sleet and freezing rain for Tuesday morning before temperatures warm enough, and then we push in some heavy rain as we go through Tuesday afternoon. So again, be aware of this during Monday night into Tuesday. We'll see a slick Tuesday morning commute, I think, with freezing rain and sleet before it transitions to rain. That could be heavy, and we're going to have to keep an eye on flooding here. We've got that frozen ground, the snowpack that will be on the ground, including melting some of that snow. So uh, with storm drains that will likely be blocked, we are going to have some flooding issues, I think, as we go through the day on Tuesday. Seven-day planning forecast shows those temperatures getting colder once again for our Wednesday, a high of just 22 single Single digits once again Thursday morning, 20 for the afternoon. We get some sunshine finally approaching about 40 degrees, which will feel like a heat wave by Saturday. All right, Kyle, thanks very much.